you know, we live in a world of social media and AI and all that, and this is what will endure. Hope will endure. Mm. Forgiveness will endure. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? Yes, ma'am. It seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again mm -hmm. like I never mm -hmm. did what I just did, and I'm just tired. tired. Yeah. I'm tired. Now that Oprah has addressed the issue about Tereji P. Henson's alleged call to humiliate her, it appears that she is attempting to repair the harm to her reputation because she is concerned about the public's perception of her. In the unlikely event that you missed this drama, Boycott Purple. Starring in the latest Oprah-produced film adaptation of The Color Purple, Taraji caused a stir when she disclosed that she nearly quit the project due to inadequate compensation. Since she hasn't received a pay increase since 2018, Taraji even claims she's thinking about giving up acting permanently. When it's time to renegotiate, another glass ceiling I feel like I never did what I just did, and I'm exhausted all over again. But when people on the internet began criticizing Oprah and pointing out that this is precisely what Monique attempted to warn everyone about years ago, Taraji took to Instagram to claim that Oprah had genuinely given her support. However, some fans are assuming that Taraji was coerced into posting the remark by the studio because the entire situation unfolded just a few days prior to The Color Purple's premiere. Oprah herself has since responded to the remark in an Instagram post. And here's the thing. She disabled comments on this post as well as every other post she published over the previous few weeks. What then does Oprah have to say about Taraji nearly leaving the color purple? Did she really think she was right? Or is her PR crisis team trying to get us to think this? Now let's get started. All aspire to be Oprah's best friend. Why are you my kind of friend? I mean, I'm really encouraging. Oprah has once again become the talk of the internet following her remarks regarding Taraji P. Henson's low pay dispute. And it appears that Oprah is no longer trusted at all by the general population. To give you some history, Taraji P. Henson spoke out against pay inequality impacting black actresses and stated she nearly had to leave the color purple because they tried to lowball her in the week before the new remake of the film, which is co-produced by Oprah. My income hasn't increased since Proud Mary and nearly had to turn away from the purple hue. I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from color purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, why are you here? Afterwards, in an additional interview with Gail King, Oprah's closest friend, Taraji sobbed and expressed her frustration at constantly having to battle for what she rightfully deserves. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. Furthermore, Tereji is not the only actress to discuss this matter. Oscar winner Viola Davis has disclosed that she is being underpaid even after being referred to as the Black Meryl Streep. What they're getting paid, which is half of what a man is getting paid, well, we get probably a tenth of what a Caucasian woman gets. And I'm number one on the call sheet. And then I have to go in and I have to hustle for my worth. Because once again, I got the Oscar, I got the Emmy, I got the two Tonys, I've done Broadway, I've done off-Broadway, I've done TV, I've done film, I've done all of it. I have a career that's probably comparable to Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, let's Sigourney Weaver, they all came out of Yale, they came out of Juilliard, they came out of NYU, they had the same path as me, and yet I am nowhere near them. Not as far as money, not as, as far as job opportunities, nowhere close to it. But I have to get on that phone and people say, you're a black Meryl Streep. <laughs> you are, and we love you. 
<laughs> we love you. There is no one like you. Okay, then if there's no one like me, you think I'm that? You pay me what I'm worth. There's also, in a statement sent to the public, Monique said that Oprah had practically cut her off from chances because she had the audacity to request payment for a press tour for the film Precious, which was directed by Lee Daniels and produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry. When Oprah and Tyler asked Monique to go on a press trip overseas, they told her there would be no money involved. Things took a turn when Monique refused to back down and stood her ground. The headlines began characterizing Monique as demanding and difficult to work with almost immediately. However, Oprah's only response to Monique's remarks was to state that she didn't want to discuss them because Monique is, quote, too critical. When questioned why she never publicly responded to Monique's charges back in 2018, Oprah stated that it was impossible and that meeting negativity with negative would only result in a bad force of energy that was combustible. And at the time, a lot of people accepted Oprah's story about Monique being unfavorable, and Monique was openly chastised by other business leaders for criticizing Tyler Perry and Oprah. Among them was Steve Harvey, who claimed on his radio program that Monique had burned too many bridges and there was nothing he could do for her. But when Steve asked Monique to his show a while later, Monique exposed him as a hypocrite, telling her that Steve had informed her in private that he agreed with her but was too afraid to back her in public. My manager, Sydney, my spouse, and I were both given the reputation of being difficult. I got labeled as difficult, my husband and I, and my husband is Sydney, who happens to be my manager. We got labeled as difficult because I said one word, and that was no. Now, I said no to some very powerful people. I said no to Oprah Winfrey. I said no to Tyler Perry. I said no to Lee Daniels. And I said no to Lionsgate. What I would have appreciated from my brother was had you picked up the phone before you went on the air and said, Monique, you've burned too many bridges and there's nothing I can do. See, I would have appreciated had my brother called me up and said, baby, let's talk. Because you doing that was a part of me being difficult. But not before that, though. Yes, baby. Y'all know my husband did nothing wrong, but none of y'all in real time, in real time, was strong enough to go publicly and say, we can't throw our sister under the bus. However, since Tariji came forth to talk about being passed over for Oprah's project, fans are at last supporting Monique for openly opposing Oprah. But once a barrage of disparaging remarks about Oprah appeared on social media, the narrative changed course. Thus, a few days after Teraji's interview went viral, Taraji praised Oprah on Instagram and said that she had been nothing but helpful. Miss Oprah has been nothing less than a steady and solid beacon of light to all of the cast of The Color Purple. Taraji captioned a photo she posted of herself and Oprah standing during The Color Purple press tour. She has given us all support, direction, and encouragement without fail. I followed her personal advice to get in touch with her if I needed anything. To feel heard, it took one black woman who was in charge of making decisions, one call, and one conversation. I am really grateful for everything you do, Miss Oprah. Nevertheless, the message failed to resonate with Taraji's fan base with many believing Teraji was coerced into posting it because Oprah and the studio were presumably concerned about the color purple losing popularity. After people began to notice Teraji's body language on TikTok, one admirer may have called Teraji after commenting on one of her posts. We adore you Teraji, but we still don't get along with Oprah. Blaine again, if she or the industry is forcing you to say this, another fan wrote. When that failed, Oprah attempted to contain the damage herself by sharing a lengthy message on Instagram about Taraji. Oprah replied, I can already see the standing ovations for you. She continued by complimenting Taraji on her portrayal of Suj Avery. Reggie has my warmest welcome to the Purple Sisterhood, and I can't wait for you to get to know her interpretation of Shug. Naturally, Oprah also didn't forget to let everyone know that Purple is opening in cinemas on Christmas Day. She also made sure to disable comments on this post and every other post she has published for the previous two weeks. Fans are now criticizing Oprah even more in claiming that it's too late to undo the damage, 
proving that she correctly predicted the responses. It finally hit most of you, an admirer said. She was never a good person in the first place. And someone else said, she's not. Oprah is the obscene Hollywood system's black puppet. Have you noticed how fast Taraji cleared Oprah's record? Taraji wishes to avoid meeting the same end as Monique. Everyone needs to apologize to Monique since years ago. She spewed this garbage. But what are your thoughts on all of this? Do you believe Oprah meant what she said? Or was she just trying to minimize the damage? After leaving a comment below, watch the following video.